Let me show you an AI web scraper that doesn't require any coding knowledge and it lets you build AI agents and powerful workflows without breaking a sweat. So let me show you how to get started. This is Browser Act and it's super easy to get started by building your own agent or using templates. So let's jump over to my dashboard and I'm going to first show you their beta launch right now, which is the quick agent. Now, one of the beauties about this is that you practically just provided instructions and then start running it. So the idea here is to provide the instruction of what this agent is going to be doing. And then we're going to be able to run this agent. So building it is a breeze. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to provide it this simple instruction. I would recommend that you do a better instruction, but in this case, this is just for testing purposes. So what I wanted to do is turn deal reviews into clear, credible social media posts. So that's like the overall thing that this is going to do. And then we have the tools that we can turn on or off. In this case, I'm going to turn off, for example, search for finance. This has nothing to do with finance. I'll, I'm going to leave social. I'm going to leave news, search in general, auto sign in is not required for this purpose and browser control. We're good to go with United States, but you can select a different region right from here. So it's super easy to get started. Then you've got your agent settings, which is going to set the amount of run steps, the action per step, max failures, etc. So it's going to retry three times in this case. And the delay is going to be 10. So we're good to go. Intelligent mode. There's a fast model and an intelligent mode. So depending on the amount of credits that you want to use, select the model type. Okay. Then we have the instruction style. So in this case, balance is perfect for this. And I'm going to use fast model for this purpose, since it's going to be just checking out the deals, reading the reviews and creating the review based on it. So I'm going to use less credits for that. Let's go ahead and publish this. Let's go ahead and run now. And that is going to take me to the running section of this AI agent. So we got the builder and then we have the run option here. So let's go ahead and give the instruction to this AI agent. And what I wanted to do is jump into the, this deals page because I use this constantly, but I wanted to understand the reviews from these four deals. So I wanted to check out the first four deals and analyze the reviews. Here we go. And it's for this website. So no sending retention is fine. And let's go ahead and send this off. And the agent should be receiving the instructions because it knows what it has to do. And it's going to jump into the live browser and jump into the link that I provided. This is a super easy way to start scraping websites with the AI agent. Now, if you want to build more complex workflows where you need to sign in, where you need to jump into the sections and do several things, then I would recommend that you build a workflow, but it's super easy to get started too. But this is like the easiest way to get started with browser act and take full advantage of it. So right now it's behaving as a human, even though it's an AI agent and it's going to jump into the deals and grab the details that I need. So let's give this a few seconds. Here we go. It is now done and we have the steps that, that this ran. So first off, it went to the browser. It opened up the, the absolute page in this case. It closed the discount pop up message, opened up the first lifetime deals, extracted details, reviews, information, saved the extracted details, read the results, generated a clear and engaging social media post and read the social media post, file review, etc. It created everything for me. Now I have the output over here. Now, in this case, I should have recommended the instructions to generate a CSV, but it created a JSON file for me. So do consider that I can download the actions. I can view the results. So in this case, here we go. We have the force first reviews. We got the title for this. We got the price. We got the amount of reviews. We got the number of reviews here too. We also have the review summary. So based on the reviews, we got a simple summary right here for a social post. Now be aware that I didn't request for a detailed review or pros and cons, but I can do that in the builder. So in here, I would highly recommend that you give it more context to make a more pros and cons difference and also export into CSV, then go ahead and run it. But it's just to give you an idea how easy it is to just jump into browser act, start using the agent and start scraping a website. Traditionally, you would have to go to the website, select the elements and do a bunch of things, know a little bit about HTML to get the results. But in this case, it's just super easy to do. So that is for the quick agent. Next, we have the AI workflow builder. 
So the workflow builder is a bit more complex. It provides more steps. I would highly recommend that you start with a template and go from there. Let me give you an idea to show you with a template and how that works so you understand and how you're going to build your own. So for example, let's use this YouTube comment scraper. Okay. So first off, this is a template and it's going to scrape the comments from a video that you're going to provide. So there's a URL and there's max results for this. Now behind this, there is an actual workflow and that's what I'm going to show you first. Okay. So you can view the description here of what this is going to accomplish. You got the workflow over here and we can go ahead and jump into create from template. So it's going to pull in that template and we're going to be able to use it. Now, first off, we have the start option. Now, these are the input parameters that you can start using. The input parameters are going to be able to be used later on when you run this. Now, let me give you a quick example. Let me go ahead and publish this really quickly. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's jump into run. Remember, there's two parameters here. And when we go into run, I can just replace the parameters with the video that I want to grab the comments from in this case and the max results. So that's what you're going to use these parameters. So it's really easy. And if you need to add a new parameter, just go ahead and do so here and I'll give you a test. So I'm just going to say test really quickly. I can give it a description in this case. I'm not. So I have a brand new parameter and those parameters can be used in the next steps when you use the builder. So visit this page and and I'm going to use the forward slash and I can grab one of my parameters. Those parameters are going to be available to you when you use the run version. So you can use those variables inside of this. So in this case, I'm not going to use this. I just wanted to show you how to use the main starting point. Okay. Then you have your credentials in case it's a scrape that these credentials. So if you need, for example, if you want to log into LinkedIn and you need to grab details inside of your LinkedIn profile, just to give you an example, you can do so that way. Or if you bought deals on Amazon and you want to scrape inside of the deals that you bought, you'll need the parameter for the credentials. So it's super easy to create these at your password and login and the details that you're going to need. Okay. And you can use the sort credentials for this. You got your browser settings for the region and you're good to go. Then we have the automation for the workflow. So what is this going to do now? Right now we already have a workflow where it's first going to visit a page and we're using the element from visit page and we're using the parameter from visit URL that we're going to input. Okay. Then we have the loop for the results. So again, that is from the available web page operations over here. Now you can do visit page, click on an element, input text, scroll page, pagination and wait. The beauty about all these elements is that they are implemented with AI. So for example, if you use visit page or click on an element, you're going to tell it what to click. You don't actually have to jump into the website and go and find the HTML code for a certain button. Now, nah, just use the AI from here. Okay. Now there's several of these web operations that you're going to use depending on your workflow list of operations. So you can loop list, extract data items, click on elements, the loop, extract the data and finish the output. Now let me show you this template really quickly. So you got your loop, you extract the data. And here's the data that it's going to extract. You can go ahead and change that if you need to collect the results. So max results is going to be from the variable. It's going to scroll down smoothly to trigger lazy loading. So see how it's telling it via just chatting. You don't need any coding at all. Then it's going to export all of this in a CSV. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and do this for only three results and test. I'm not going to use, which is the variable that I just created for testing purposes. Oh, it's going to need it now. The good thing about this is that the variable is not going to be used anywhere because I didn't implement it in the workflow. It was just to give you an idea. Okay. Now here we go. It's going to run the browser, which is going to open up this URL that we provided and it's going to kick off the workflow. So let's give this a couple seconds. Here we go. The workflow is now done and we got a CSV output. I can go ahead and preview it straight from here and view the output. So we got the comment text, the author from that comment, posted date, comment like count, reply count, video title. Well, we got a lot of details from each one of these comments, which is pretty cool, right? So we got the comments and the details available right here from the workflow. So you got the, work, the screenshots, you got the output and you got the workflow right here. So you get the idea of how easy it is to build. Now you can do this from templates and modify it to your own needs or start building from scratch. I think it's 
easy to start building this when you have easy workflows but you're going to get the idea and start building more complex workflows really easily now as i mentioned before there's several templates available that you can start using so let's go ahead and explore them right now to show you what you can expect when you get started so there's several of these available templates there's over six pages of templates that you can start using right away and practically you're going to find the most popular ones from reddit google amazon TikTok, youtube etc they're all going to be available here start start using right away here we go so just check them out and start using them now if you want to take this even a step further you got your integrations with api now if you don't want to go through the api details you can go ahead and use make but if you want to use api you can use api from workflows and agents so here are the details so you can get started with api so if you want to integrate this with zapier public connect or other automation applications out there it is possible and you're going to find your api keys right here just go ahead and generate one and you'll be good to go to start using so definitely check out browser act and start scraping right now without being a developer and without needing any coding knowledge at all just play and tell it what you want and it's going to do it for you so that is browser act link provided in the description plus don't miss out right now browser act is on a lifetime deal which you can grab right now starting at 69 dollars for the lifetime deal that means that you only have to pay once and you'll be able to use forever these credits are going to renew every single month so starting at 69 dollars we're going to get 20,000 credits per month plus we're going to get access to all these features included on the lifetime deal now if you need more credits jump into last tier two three four and all the way up to five for 220,000 credits per month so depending on your needs i do recommend that you grab the license tier that you are going to need now as i mentioned before it's a lifetime deal pay once use forever and don't forget that link we provided in the description so you can start using it right now